Hi kindergartners! Today we're going to be comparing objects by length. So we need a piece of paper and something to write with. And today we're going to think of three objects. A pen, an oil pastel, and a pencil. We're going to draw those three and their different lengths. So let's start with a pen at the top. The shape of a pen, uh, we mostly are going to be using straight lines. So let's do a straight line near the top of our paper, a long straight line like this that's horizontal going across. You can see that better like this. <clears throat> and then we're going to draw another straight line right under it. The same length. That's the, the two sides of the pen. Now we'll draw the end of the pen like this. And then the top of the pen is going to be a little different. <clears throat> We're going to do come, come out a little bit to the top. Okay. And we're going to do a curved line to a point. And then the other side, come back, curve down to the other side. And then we're going to connect it almost all the way, but stop, stop right there before you get to the top because this part has a tail, it goes down and back. So there's the lid of our pen. Okay, the next one is an oil pastel. So here's the length of a pen and here's an oil pastel. Can you see how it's, um, less than half the size. Okay, so we're going to start it at the same point where we started the end of the pen and draw another straight line, but this time only draw it as long as the oil pastel would be. And then do another line on the other side. And then let's do a little bit of a curved line in the back and a curved line in the front. So there's the oil pastel. You can see that the pen is longer than the oil pastel, right? Okay, <clears throat> now we'll do the next one, which is going to be a pencil. And a pencil is just a little bit longer than the pen. Okay, so we're going to start again back here in the same spot. Um, and then we're going to Bring a straight line all the way down. It's going to be longer than the pen, so keep going, keep going, keep going. <clears throat> like that. So it goes a little bit past where the pen stopped. And then the same thing for the bottom of the pencil. And then we have a sharp point, right? <clears throat> so we go angle line, angle line. Draw a line across for the lead, and then we can do some zigzag lines here for the pencil. And then at the back, um, we get to do a curved line around for the eraser, and then do some straight lines to show the metal part at the end. So we have our three objects, and we can tell which one's the longest, the shortest, and in the middle. Okay, so today, um, oh, and then we need to make sure we sign our name. Now, if you can think of other objects that you have around, um, that's great. You could draw those too, and you can show if they're longer or shorter. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take time to do that if you want to go look around and find some other things. Maybe you have a paintbrush or a crayon. Something like that. And then to color with, today I'm going to use oil pastels. So I put mine out with um, in groups. So I have my browns, red, orange, yellow, and white, and green, purple, blue, and gray. If you have oil pastels at home, you can use those as well. Or if you want to use paint or crayons, whatever you want to use is great. And the fun thing is you get to choose your colors on these. So 
um, I used a pink pen that I was looking at to draw. So I'm gonna um, do my my um, pen pink. You can choose whatever you want. You can see that the oil pastel colors a lot like a crayon. So I'm just using it like that. You just fill it in. Um, the difference is it's a little more um, waxy. It has a little more oil, I guess I should say. Um, and so that means that it does smudge a little more than a crayon. So if you want to, it's something you can blend if you get a tool to blend with. Or like mine today, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna blend it with any tool, but I will go over the top maybe with another color and you'll see it blends it really nicely. It makes it really smooth. So see here I did um, pink and then I went over it with white and it, it really blended it in. Um, and maybe I'll do that with the, the lid here too. I'll get a different pink and just kind of blend over the lid. And oil pastels are really fun to use. They are just so um, smooth and I, I don't know, I think you'll really like using them if that's what you have today. Do an orange oil pastel just like this. So I'm just gonna outline it first. And then color it in. So for coloring in the main shapes, you can just um, use big bold colors like this. And then in the background, we'll talk about maybe going lighter and using the side just to try that out too. And my pencil was yellow and kind of like a peach um, tip. So I'm going to take this golden yellow here. Get that filled in. And then I've got my gray. It's kind of a silvery gray. And then pink for the eraser. Now here's something cool that you can't really do with crayons as well. Um, I want to make it light pink and I can mix it with oil pastels if I get the white and I do it on top, it'll make it lighter pink. So these, it works a little bit more like paint in that way. You can actually make new colors, um, actually mix it, not just layer, but mix it. So that's neat. And I'll do a gray tip there. And there's my peach um, wood color. Okay, so now for the background, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to experiment a little bit to show you. I have a couple oil pastels that have no wrapper. So I'm going to show you how it looks to do it on its side. This is also looking very similar to crayon. When we take the crayon's wrapper off and we put it on its side, Try not to go over the other shapes. If you want to stop, 
uh, the video and take a break to remember that's fine. That's a great thing to do if your hand starts getting tired or you start getting a little bit bored. Um, you can always stop, take a break, do something else, and then you can come back and turn on the video again. And that will let you refocus and help you make sure you're doing quality work instead of um, just hurrying to finish. my background. Um, chalk pastels, those are the ones that have a lot of dust and if I left it like this it would get off onto other things but since it's oil pastel it should be okay to leave the texture like this um, if I want to. And then um, I do want to blend it a little bit more here. I think I'm going to choose maybe another light blue. Just kind of rub in here. Because I, I like the texture, but I don't want, it has a lot of white still showing through. And you know, sometimes I like to fill in as much of the white as I can to make it look like it's finished. So I'm going to take another layer here. Now this would be a great time if you wanted to um, use a cloth or a tissue or another blending tool, this would be a great time to use that because um, that would also help get rid of the white spots. So that's an option too. Same thing with the white, to blend that in even more. So with your art supplies, it's always up to you if you want to keep the wrappers on or take them off. It, it doesn't matter. You can do it either way, whatever works better for you. So since I needed the side, I had to take the wrapper off for that one. Remember to put something under your paper so that you can go all the way off the edge. Now it's starting to blend more. It's getting more smooth. So hopefully you took a break if your hand was getting tired. Here's my drawing. Um, object, comparing objects of different lengths. Um, I hope you had fun today 
Thank you so much for drawing with me, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.